It's uh, Friday today. Made it out to Red Rock. Yesterday was day one. Thursday was day one of Masters Worlds 2016. And uh, I did pretty good. Took second. Um, it was really the. It, it seemed like every division was just stacked. There was people from from like from everywhere, every country, people from the best schools. Um, I got to go against. Let's see, I had four matches in my division. And in my first match, I went against a guy from the Middle East. My second match was a guy from San Jose. You know, it's only fitting that you're going to bump into a guy from your neighborhood. And then third match, uh, Shanji Hibero, who is... I believe a seven time world champion and I won the match it was a 2-0 match um, I got a quick takedown I was able to I kept working my passing and then um, trying to figure out which trail and then you know worked for my worked on my passing wasn't able to pass uh and uh came out with the win it was a it was a pretty exciting match i think i was even biting my nails when it came down to the end um and so i want to talk a little bit about that i think um you know so i'd had a match against shanji before once when i was a brown belt and he beat me, you know, maybe in a, with a minute, with a uh, a knee bar, and uh, so I was definitely not going to let that happen again. Um, but I'm going to be honest; I was going into it thinking, thinking a few things. You know, one, this is such a great opportunity, um, and I'm going to get something out of this whether I win or lose. So let's just put everything out there. The only regret I'm gonna have is if I don't put everything out there. If I just kinda hold back, sit tight, and uh, not not put out my best effort. I think we always put, a, put out our best effort, but sometimes we get a little bit shy of, of going out there and playing our best stuff. We kind of take a back seat and, well, check this out. That's Red Rock Canyon. Uh, if you're in Vegas, it's a must visit location in my opinion. But I think we get a little shy of doing our things doing our, our, our attacks, playing our game, being confident, you know? So what are the things that I was telling myself going into that match? This is a chance. This is an opportunity to, to play, to have fun. Um, and the way I saw it, it was a win-win and it really was, and it always is. It's always a win-win if you play your best game. If you go out there and show the public, show people what it is that you're capable of, regardless of whether you win or lose. Um, I just happened to win that match, um, you know. But it definitely could have, could have, something could have changed, you know. Um, but anyways, uh, and then my finals match, uh, Lovato. Um, he just steamrolled me through and uh, you know I think so there's a little bit of that's where it's like mental toughness you know it's like how are you gonna you win a big match and how are you gonna 
um, re like reset yourself um, and like go go through with with the next match because sometimes you have a big match first round you know a lot of people don't know but when Eddie Bravo submitted Hoyler at the ADCC he went on and uh, that was the semis but in the finals he lost um, you know by by points or something like that you know so it's like if you get it if you get a big win how can you re how can you um, do it again I wasn't able to do it but I think the strategy needs to be resetting yourself and maybe not even letting yourself get to that get an emotional up you know um, it was a dog fight okay stay calm relax and go right into your your visualization your meditation whatever you want to call it focusing your mind on your next your next uh, you know your immediately your next match that's immediately coming uh, I think that's mental toughness that that's the ability to focus is not letting something that already happened distract you you know celebrate in the moment raising your hand um, something I wish I would have done is maybe go for a little jog as tired as I was I think that would have helped with the reset you know sometimes moving having like a moving meditation helps with helps kind of reset and clear the mind and uh, you know so again uh, a couple things right always looking at things as an opportunity as a chance why not why not me you know and then at the same time another thing to think about is if that opportunity if you do seize that opportunity and it's an opportunity or an achievement of a lifetime uh, celebrate it but then be ready you know especially if you have something coming up right away uh, have a reset button you know figure out a way to reset yourself in my mind I was I kept trying to catch my reset excuse me I kept trying to catch my reset uh, but I was never able to um, a good thing you know of like what we're doing today uh, what I'm doing today Michelle is here uh, visiting from from Brazil he competed in the world yesterday he had a really tough match but um, anyways this is my reset you know I'm resetting for the next thing and it's right it's right after I'm not waiting till um, you know so today is Friday I'm not gonna wait till Monday to reset then I've lost all those days you know so uh, create some some way to reset yourself uh, enjoy the moment enjoy enjoy what you've achieved your accomplishments I think it's really important to do that and acknowledge what you've done but I also think it's important you know to be able to reset because otherwise you're just living in what you what you did and you're not moving on to to do more to do better to to push yourself to challenge yourself oh my gosh this is beautiful look at that <laughs> anyways um good luck with your training guys i hope uh i can hear my echo um and we'll, we'll keep in touch if you guys have any questions or comments please comment below and uh I look forward to to helping you guys on your your mind journey, your map mind. Talk to you guys soon.